Nifty. Hi, Lake Detective. Good. There he goes. Fresh from a case, huh? That's right. Now, did you? Your gun could not come onto the fairgrounds. No, I left the gun. Yeah, you have to leave the gun the at the office. I was in your office the other night, and uh, you quickly put the uh, office bottle away when I arrived. I had a lot of put the gun in the drawer, and the long, leggy blonde in front admitted me to the back room. Where were you on a case today, LD? Well, I ran into something fairly unusual. All right. A little bit, of, a little bit mysterious. Okay. Well, we love that. And you've never been stumped, yeah? That's right. And I and I had to do a little bit of work on this because I was at Lake Balney in Lesur County. Lake Balney? Lake Balney. All right. It's a nice little glacial lake. Look what I found along the shoreline. No, LD. No, I just took a little... What is it? I took a little snippet. It's rope. It's a seine. It oh. is a... It is a... It's a seine to use, and it was washed up on shore. Uh-huh. But here's the thing. You solved this mystery, didn't you? It's hand-tied. Whoa! And it was about 50 feet long, and I'm sure it had been you know, ripped apart, so it might have been, you know, a thousand feet long. This is all that washed up on shore. Really? But here's the deal. This is not cotton. Uh, this is not made out of cotton fiber. This is made out of twine. Really? And it's only a two-inch mesh. Okay. So it tells me a couple things. All right, because you're a detective. That's right. A lake detective. The newer nets are all nylon, nylon yeah. filaments. And the older ones are made out of cotton, and they're still machine tight. All right. You got to go back a long ways. How to long, get LD? I'm, 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 like, I'm estimating about 90 to 100 years. Holy smokes! They were out What a mystery! They were out sailing in the early 1900s and probably got this, there's a big rock pile up there because a couple of years ago, commercial fishermen on Lake Balney were working their nets and they got held up on that same rock pile, ripped the heck out of their nets. Is this a uh, recreational lake? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's about a 300 acre lake. And it's a really nice lake, but it does have a lot of carp in it, and there's been carp in this lake for a long time. Right. And in the past, you can tell too, because it's a two-inch mesh, yeah. they were fishing for all the fish that right. they could get. These days... They being who do you, Native Americans? I uh, think it was probably commercial fishermen. Commercial fishermen? The DNR started licensing commercial fishing in about 1905. Okay. And this might be one of those outfits. And you can tell because it's a two-inch mesh, they were fishing for just about everything. Yeah. But they, that, in other words, they weren't picking. That's right. Nowadays, commercial fishermen are using about a four to five inch mesh to let the little fish through yeah. so they can come back and get them later. Okay. And they'll only get the big fish. But okay. with this type of a mesh, this is a, this is an old time net. Is it plausible that that could have survived in the water for 90, 100 years? Yes. It is. If it gets into the sediments or close to the sediments, there's no oxygen in those sediments and there's very little decomposition or breakdown of these types of things. Yeah. So that's how we can find old boats, and, you know, old, old canoes that right. could be a thousand years old really, if they get into that muck. And, and you weren't on that lake to retrieve an old seine, were you? No, I wasn't. What mystery called you there and did you check in with the local authorities? I always do. Did you have to? In this case, it was uh, Lauren at the Environmental Services Okay. Building. <laughs> but You left your gun with him. <laughs> All right. Maybe with her. Yeah, or but, her. But Lake Balmy has has an unexpectedly clear water some years, and other years is unexpectedly turbid, full of algae. Never been snow. So that's what we're trying to narrow down. What causes those algae? You know what? You'll get it. That's what we're working on. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at a three-time light heavyweight? Light heavyweight. Light heavyweight boxing champion of the United States Masters Division. Woo! <laughs> I just got the thing on the <laughs> Actually, the three time now. Uh, oh, five, six, and seven. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic. So, so I, you know, I'd like to see. You know that. what? But Hold you're a. Up. You know what? You're a detective. You got to be tough. You got to be ready. You got to be know. ready. Fact, what if you had to beat up a giant carp or something? <laughs> well, I ran into a muskie a few years ago. That's the scar right there. Yeah. I was in boxing back then. Right. What would have happened if I would have known what to do? Oh, you would have punched him. Damn. Boom. <laughs> now, a couple years ago, I did run into a crappie, yeah. and I actually did punch him. You did. I remember that. You're right. We were yep. sitting there, and I was scuba diving, and seriously, a crappie swam right up to my mast, and we're sitting there. It's a standoff. Oh, and all of a sudden that crappie comes, boom! He didn't right. know that crappie didn't know who he was dealing <laughs> with, did he? He ran right into my mask and then backed off, like you know, hey, what are you gonna do now? So I swung, bam! Oh. I 
and threw a left. That crappie was hit by a Masters light heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen. Were you wearing the belt? I've seen the belt. Have you seen the belt? Uh, I have seen the belt. The belt is the size of that bass drum. <laughs> anyway, I was wearing, I was wearing a, a weighted belt, though. We.